Hey Ray, how you doing? My name is Greg. I spoke to you uh, this morning, Monday. I uh, told you that I'd seen your ad in um, the uh, <clears throat> Santa Cruz Guide and that um, I run an internet marketing company here in Santa Cruz based on the west side. And um, I uh, wanted to make this quick video for you showing you why your website could be getting a whole lot more traffic, a whole lot more business as a result uh, by doing some things um, uh, to optimize your website to be visible to Google and therefore findable by your customers who are searching for, for example, Bail Bonds Santa Cruz, Bail Bonds Oakland, Bail Bonds San Jose, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm going to give you some suggestions here, but uh, by way of overview, then the work I do is all about getting you to the top of Google, how to beat your competition to the top of the Google search. If you're not on the top of Google, if you're not on the first page here, um, or in the maps, you are missing out on 95% of all the potential traffic. People are not clicking through to the second page of Google, and they're very seldomly scrolling down beyond the first three, four uh, uh, search results uh, on the first page of Google. Okay, so I'm going to give you some suggestions about your website, looking at content, backlinks, and citations. I'll cover the details of that in a second. But this is all about making sure that Google trusts you thinks that your site is relevant to show when talking about when, when their customers are searching for bail bond services and that you're an authority in your area. Google, Google cares very much about their customers and um, they will not put a, 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 a site onto the first page of Google that they don't trust and they don't th that they don't think is relevant. Okay, let's jump straight into uh, to content here, Ray. First thing I'm going to tell you, Ray, is that uh, your website is not secure. You see that uh, that note there, not secure. So I've seen many times where websites that are not secure get stolen uh, and redirected somewhere else, okay, and you can never get them back. So you'll want to take care of that pretty quickly, given that your website is 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 an asset to your business and you don't want to lose it, okay? Now let's look at content. Um, when we look at content, uh, for Google, it's all about quality and quantity. Uh, by quantity, we mean that um, you need to write enough words into your website that Google thinks that you're an authority. Okay, if you can write enough, they assume that you're an authority, you know enough to write about what you do. And also that they think you're relevant. If there are enough words on your website, then they will assume that the answers that their question their, their customers are looking for are likely somewhere in all the words that you've written. Okay, so we want to see typically at least 1500 words, 1500 words on the homepage, and at least 500 words for every services page. Now, uh, it's slightly different, I, I know, for, for, for bail bond work. You may not necessarily call these services, but we do want to build out separate pages in the back end and write in more detail with more volume about what you do. Okay, so that's on quantity. Your website, uh, Ray, has um, uh, 1,400 words all the way throughout it. Now, I think this is light, and I think that we'd want to write more words in there to get recognized by Google. The second thing that's really important is quality, as I mentioned. What matters a great deal is the words that we choose to write into your website. And those words have to be uh, what we call keywords. Now, here's an example of a keyword. This is a phrase or a word that one of your customers, potential customers, would use to find your services if they're not looking for you specifically. So they would type into Google search, DUI Bail Bonds San Jose, or just Bail Bonds San Jose or Bail Bonds Santa Cruz, whatever the case may be. Now, there are many ways of writing this, okay? And because you cover so many areas uh, uh, throughout the Bay Area, you need to find all the keywords that speak to all the areas you cover and all the services you cover. So it may not just be Bail Bonds, but we could also write in there, as I had before, DUI Bail Bonds, Domestic Violence Bail Bonds, okay? Because people might be searching for these things specifically. We pull together a list of at least uh, uh, 30, 20 to 30 of these best possible keywords, and we write them into your content. That is so that when someone is searching for this content, they can make a match between you and uh, your content and their customer. Now, I'm going to show you um, your website currently gets eight visitors a month, okay, which is not a lot. Um, one of your competitors up there in San Jose, uh, I know that this is... Um, a location for, for all uh, pro bail bond, but they're getting 244 visits a month for searches specific to bail bond San Jose. This is why I said to you, you could be getting a lot more business um, by optimizing your website. Now we're talking about keywords. Currently, Google 
uh, has understood, read, it un read and understood your website to contain 53 keywords. These are what those words are. Okay. Now, as you look at this page, here are the words or here are the keywords that they think you're all about. Here is the position in Google that you occupy for those keywords. Okay. Santa Cruz bail bonds, 100 searches a month. You hold position eight in Google. That's on the second page of Google. Bail bonds, Santa Cruz, a slightly different version. 40 searches a month, you're in position five. Okay. So you're at the bottom of the first page. But for everything else, look here. You're on uh, position 21, that's the fourth page, coming onto the fifth page. Um, so there's a lot of work we could do here, uh, Ray, to, to get some of these, get some of this volume into your site. For example, Bail Bonds, Oakland, California, 100 searches a month. You're on the 10th page. Um, Bail Bonds, Salinas, 100 searches a month, 47th position. So you're missing out on a lot of traffic here. Let's take a look at, um, at these guys, Bail Bonds, San Jose, All Pro Bail Bonds. 244 searches a month, the keywords that they are currently ranking for. Okay, so San Jose, Bail Bondsman, 200 searches a month. They hold the second position. Bail Bond San Jose, California, 80. Bail Bond San Jose, 150. The point I'm making here is there's a lot of opportunity to capture a lot of traffic, particularly from San Jose and up into the, the uh, up into the, the North Bay or into, into Alameda County by choosing the right words to write into your site. Okay. So content is super important. Now I wanted to talk to you very quickly about backlinks, okay? Backlinks uh, is the way that you get trusted by Google. Currently, your website has a trust score here, a DR trust score of 0 0.8. Now that's a percentage. You have a 0.8% trust score with Google. They don't trust your site um, as much as they could. The way that we build trust with Google is that we link you to lots of other websites. And if Google trusts the websites that we link you to, then by association, they trust you too, okay? The process here is to figure out all the best possible websites to link you to. And we send out a request or we pay for a link and um, they send, uh, that, that sends trust to your site. Now you're linked to 11 websites. Let's see who they are, okay? So um, not all of these are helping you. This score here, this DR score, that's a trust score for that site. Now, that's a very low score. That's a very low score, very low score. We want to go out there and find the best possible um, uh, sites to link you to and build up this, this uh, backlink profile so that it's very strong. Uh, Google starts to trust you, and you start to rank up onto the first page of Google. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about, Ray, in order to get you more visibility is get you up here in the maps, okay? Getting up here in the maps uh, is good. In actual fact, for Santa Cruz, you're up here in the maps, but for, for not for anywhere else. Uh, and we do this by, by what we call citations. The citation is any mention of your business name, address, or phone number anywhere on a, uh, on a um, directory on the internet. And that allows you to, to, to get up into the maps. The way that we do this is we just, by a directory, I mean Yellow Pages, Yelp, bbb.org, et cetera, et cetera. We just want to go out there and find from the get-go 200 of these directories to list your business in. That gives you immediate power to win that top spot in the maps, uh, which is a good place to be because when, when someone is in an emergency or, or, in fact, most people nowadays are just searching on their telephones. And um, if you're in the map pack, um, the search that someone pulls up on their phone, it's going to have a third button here that says call now or just call. All they have to do is press that button. They're immediately calling you. They don't have to come scroll down here, click into a link, find a phone number, save that phone number, and then call you. It's very frictionless if you're up here in the maps. It's a good way to get a lot of traffic to your site. Uh, so there you go, Ray. Those are the three suggestions I, I wanted to give you. Content. You need to write more words into your website and fill that content with keywords so that we can capture a whole bunch of that traffic particularly up through uh, San Jose, um, up through Oakland and the uh, the North Bay Area. Number two, backlinks. Google doesn't trust your site right now. Um, so let's build a strong backlink profile to get trust to your site so that they are happy to rank you up. Number three, citations to get you into the maps. And um, that way you have two chances of being in the uh, on the front page of Google. Uh, so there you go, Ray. I think there's a lot of opportunity uh, here for you. I know that you're advertising in... Uh, in the guide um, and maybe that's bringing you some some business 
Um, but there's another way to do it here to really get this uh, ramped up for you. Now, I am based in Santa Cruz. I'm more than happy to meet you to discuss this further. Um, so thank you for watching my video. I'm going to email it through to you now. And I'd love you just to drop me a quick one-liner saying, tell me what you think of it, just some feedback. So uh, with that, Ray, appreciate it.